Okay, so I don't know how to speed up a video, so I'm just going to speed it up and tell you what I'm doing here. So I am making a border, and these are the washi tapes I picked out. You put it on wax paper. So right now I put a piece of white paper down so you can actually see my page better. And I already started it. I put some wax paper or washi tape on the wax paper. And I ripped some washi tape here. <laughs> and so I picked one that I knew I wouldn't rip. And I put it down. And you want to put it down next to the other piece of washi tape. I started it because I was testing it out. This is my first time doing it. So, and I decided to pick a white one to go in between each one, or almost each one. So I did that, and I put that there, and I picked this I Love You one that with the red background. I tried to pick all hearts, and now we're putting another one, and I ripped this one as well. See? <laughs> and I picked all the hearts because it is February, and it is the love now, this washi has a white back on it, and I kind of like washi like this because then it's easier to tear up, and I have another one like it. Not that one, but... So, I'm just continuing to put washi, but as I, I was saying, um, God's love is always forever, but February is Valentine's Day month, and so I decided to go with the hearts. And so I keep... Putting washi tape down, I think this one rips as, no, nope, this one I go super slow, and I did speed up this video so it wouldn't be as long, and I decided to do that, and then I picked this last one, and I did reuse this one, so, and then what you do is you're going to cut your edges off, and then you're going to make like a little swirl, you want to decide where you want to put it first, and then you cut and you make like a little swirl or whatever you want to do and then you want to lift up the, the washi tape and as you can see I have a hard time doing that at first so that's why I re pick a different side and then so you lift up all the washi tape and you can see how I'm doing that now and then you're gonna put it down on your page and you want to make sure that it gets straight so all your washi tape and you push down you want to make sure it's down as you can see and then flip your page over so you can see it and flip your page and then you can see the line where to cut and then you've got your washi border right there and then we're going to continue to do it I did add a little piece at the end there so it would go to the end and these I just peeled off there so I wouldn't have to worry about the tape so I took that page out because it was going to be easier for the top and I peeled up the washi tape again and we're going to put it over my February. This is the top of my page. I do cover up the Wednesday and it, but that's okay. Oh, that's on the other page. Oops. <laughs> I don't cover up anything there. <laughs> that's okay. So I got my top border so you can see my edges now. Now I'm going to move to the other page. And I'm going to do, I believe I do the bottom one right now. And we're going to peel up some washi tape. It was kind of neat to peel it up from the wax paper. And then we put it underneath the page. And push all the washi tape down. Easy as that. And then you flip the page over. You'll see me, oh, this is the power punch. And because I have to redo another punch. I show you that as well and you cut that off and then we're gonna do the top because this was a 2020 planner so I didn't use it at the time so now I want to cover up that 2020 and we peel up some more washi tape <laughs> and keep peeling yep peel 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 what I want to know in the comments what do you use washi tape for? Do you use it in your planner, kind of like this? Or do you use it in other crafts? I know a lot of people use it in a whole bunch of other crafts. So we've got that, and then you flip it over and you cut the piece. And it's easy to see. And then I use my power punch there to punch it. And I've got my hole, I try to show it, yep. 
you can see it it's a little blurry and then I put my pages back in and I use my dividers again so I may I actually made that one piece of paper this piece of paper and I've actually decided to do the bottom of that page because it kind of looked bare with other sides being done so we peel up the washi tape again I was trying to decide where it should go so we peel it up again and then you want to stick it make sure it's straight and then just stick your washi tape down and it's okay that I'm covering up a little bit of the boxes because I use I only use part of the box anyway so there we go and I put it back in the planner and there's the final product I hope you had some fun and have a great day and please let me know if you do this tag me please and I will put that down